were invited to Operation Care uh, from Margaret McCoyne and the Time Group, of which we are very, very grateful for her and her help and the Time Group to involve us in such an amazing opportunity. You know, Operation Care, right now, it's the largest event for homeless in the United States. To be part of it, to feel the energy, to feel the Lord's Spirit on it, we're blessed. It's wonderful. I'm myself personally a uh, Navy Army veteran. I've been homeless several times. Uh, this being the largest organization, we got together with Rebuilding Our Heroes. Rebuilding Our Heroes now is providing job opportunities for veterans and homes for veterans, getting them off the street, getting them educated, getting them empowered in the community, become leaders in the community. And this is something that I am very, very proud of to be a part of. Yeah, likewise. Now we're extremely, extremely grateful and working with Rebuilding Our Heroes, the idea is to have affordable housing, very quick. It's a unique process, it's a unique design that we have and that we're working with communities, we're working with city fathers uh, to provide a very unique fill or solution rather to an incredible need. Sometimes the need is overwhelming when you think about it. The need that uh, our veterans are going through, the need that many are going through, not just our veterans, but we at Rebuilding Our Heroes specifically focus on the need that our veterans have for housing, for support, for jobs. And we are blessed to be networking, to be a part of Operation Care, because it's gonna be a huge help and a blessing for us, which in turn is gonna be an amazing help and blessing for our veterans. When you're with Rebuilding Our Heroes, we call it a triangle. Oh. Triangle is the strongest instrument that's out there. Yeah. We have faith, we have family, and we have our friends. So you're part of our family and our friends and you have, you have fitness of, of that. That's right. Faith, family, friends, fitness. Right before we were here talking with you, uh, we were moved to tears at the wonderful message that we heard delivered and, and ministering to the people here. Uh, we've been watching a number of different folks get up, listening to their passion for, for ministering to the folks here, for really ministering the Lord's love praying with people, offering the gift and message of salvation. I mean, we have some wonderful, wonderful folks involved who, with the heart as big as Texas, but more importantly, they're sharing the Lord's love with folks. They're sharing the Lord's message of salvation. It's very real. We're not just supplying a one-day need here with Operation Care. They're supplying a lifelong gift, an eternity-long gift by offering the gift of salvation. Uh, so forwardly, so boldly. It's a wonderful, wonderful to see. God puts you on these paths. I had this incredible journey that I've been a part of. Yeah. And now I have a more incredible journey. People look at me today and they're like, guilty and sorry for me. I have died three times in my life. I spent eight and a half weeks in ICU. I have wow. gone through an incredible amount of journey, filing for bankruptcy, foreclosure, losing my home, selling plasma. I am on a path. God puts you in these positions to help you out and get you through this. And I am so exhilarated to be a part of this, to be able to help out a family, to be able to help out my brothers and sisters, to get a home, be a part of rebuilding our heroes. Yeah. This is, this is awesome to be a part of this. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Thanks so much for letting us be a part of this. I mean, thanks, it's wonderful. Okay, if you'd like to get involved with rebuilding our heroes, come to our website. We ask you basically to donate today. Stand up with us you know, right beside us and helping our brothers and sisters get into a home. We can't do this alone. Everybody goes through life without a team. We have our eye being our God, the head leader, and then our team follows our base and makes us a strong structure to be able to help out other people also. Yeah, and you can go to operationcare.org. That's the place that'll give you all the information. Uh, it'll give ways that you can help out. You know, it's, it's tremendous. That's how we got our friends to get involved. We got our kids to go on the site. I mean, it's really simple. You go on the site, decide where you want to volunteer, just put in your name, boom, it's that simple. You know, and you can give donations, you can give gifts in kind, you can give your time. Operationcare.org, rebuildingourheroes.org, and many others who are here helping us today. I do what I do because I'm a server. You know, I, I wanted to protect and serve my country, and now I have another opportunity to serve, serve our veterans today, serve our community. You know, I, I, all I want to do is empower people to be the best that they can possibly be. And that, that's what I do yeah. as, as a leader. That's excellent. 
Yeah, and likewise, it's, you know, I was born and raised a missionary. I worked in 30 plus countries. It's part of my fabric of what makes me. I find great fulfillment in helping others. It's very difficult to be going out every day working for a paycheck alone because when you've been serving others for a good portion of your life, like Jay said, he's a servant. That's why he chose to serve the country. Uh, when you've been serving others, it's, it's a fulfillment that is hard to find unless you're serving others. And so working with Rebuilding Our Heroes, working with Operation Care, it provides us an opportunity to be a servant, to help. It provides an opportunity to give to others. It provides a purpose. And uh, you cannot find that purpose unless you're willing to step out, to be unselfish, to give. And that purpose is so much more than when you're just working for yourself, right? Or working for a, a fatter uh, bank account. So we do it because we want to serve. That's what Jesus did. My, my story, basically, I keep on going back to the things that I've been through. Um, you know, the bankruptcy, the foreclosure. I tried to commit suicide back in 08. I didn't have any more self-worth, you know, in my life. After I died three times, God saved my life for a purpose in a meeting. That gave me self-worth. That, that lead me out to helping other people, yeah. building a strong structure and a strong base. And yeah. that's one thing I'm proud of, to be here today with God and you know, just keep on pushing it every day. Yeah, that's right. I want to second that. You know, if, if you're feeling maybe a little empty, you're feeling a little dissatisfied, want something more, step out and help somebody. That's the secret to happiness. The best way to be happy is to make somebody happy. So get out, uh, do something outside of your comfort zone. Get involved with Operation Care. Get involved with Rebuilding Our Heroes. Get out, give your time, give your finances, give your stuff. Give whatever you can. Give a hug. That's all you got, right? Give a little love. It goes a long way. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.